Watch this! Raiding party is probably the only keep here. Need a prep now. Uh, I said prep, not patches. I could have kept that for a combo activator, but I'm confident I'll draw into one. See, there's one. So this is my turn three, this is my turn uh, four, is these two. Honestly, the patches draw isn't really that big of a deal when I'm just refilling my hand with the raiding party anyway. So we attack this turn and next turn, maximize our damage. Dark Bomb tells me it's probably Reno. Next turn is King's Bane, Big Boy Pirate. Start juicing this. Okay, so it is Reno. I might kill that. Just because minion damage isn't really that important. I just want to make like a huge dagger, find the Myras, and then win. This patch is dealing a lot of damage. Sorry, neighbor dogs were borking and I got, uh, got Teddy. Sap is good. How do you beat this Kingsbane deck? Uh, depends on what your plan is. If you're the Warlock, you just don't. I think getting two damage in here is fine when I have the uh, the raiding party. I don't see a reason to sap that. I could have cleared the Kazakas there, but I think I want the damage. There's no Defile play here. I am going to hold the Deckhand, though, because um, Deckhand tank is uh, pretty good damage. Well, I want to save the Sap for a Void Lord or potentially Malganus. I had the ability to get through that taunt already. Play around Dreadlord. I'm not really worried about Dreadlord here. We have Lethal through a Taunt. I, most of the time we just win from here. Seems good. I don't actually know how to play this matchup if it's a uh, pirate, so I'm just going to try and make a, a weapon and hope it's uh, hope it's odd. I think we can win that. We go coin shiny finder into Buck Kingsbane, and then we just want to find Myra's. Perfect. Buck Kingsbane. Uh, Doomerang is a weapon reset. I don't think I attack here because I don't have much uh, to reset my weapon with. Like, doing two damage is not really relevant at any stage of this game, whereas the weapon swing could represent more damage later in the game. I mean, it potentially gets punished by an a tempo ooze, but I don't really care about that. My only weapon fish, so do I really want to use it? Yeah, because I need to I need to charge this weapon and get myself closer to um to buffs and Myra's. 
So we have the luxury of being able to take this slow because our opponent doesn't ever apply pressure. So we can just think uh, far enough ahead into like the end game stages. I imagine. Uh, we probably just play a Corsair here. We've got saps for taunts when we need them. Like if he plays a real big boy taunt and we need to sneak some damage in. Hey, there's Myra's. I think I want to play out a little bit more of my hand before going in on that. Maybe find a prep as well. But I want to make sure that I get things like um, oil and the deadly poisons. I want to like really supercharge this King's Bane so that it... basically my goal is to eventually um, be capable of doing more than uh, 4 damage per turn consistently. This has one bad outcome. It's a 50-50. I think we take it. Unfortunate. This plays around Brawl a little bit better. I don't think I hit. It plays around Brawl in not popping the Death Lord, right? So if he does Brawl and the Death Lord loses, we get something on the board in our, on our side of the board. I want to dump my hand for the, the Myras, which is probably happening next turn now. Here we go. Uh, sap Myras. Seems okay. That allows us to maintain the Abyss. We can uh, hit the second sap off of the Myras. But getting both uh, getting both tanks early was uh, huge for this matchup. We could also just sap uh, like if he gets a big taunt out of it. Okay. Well, prep. Uh, if we hit a prep off of the uh, the Myras. We can also hit the uh, the Abyss and get 9 to face. So I think it was worth it. We'll see if we actually get the payoff though. That is unfortunate. Here we go. We do have a lot of damage though. Ooze uh, kind of wrecks us. I was really counting on hitting a, a sap, but if he has Ooze we probably just lose. I think he would have played it by now, but there's a high probability of uh, hitting a hitting a prep there, so it's unfortunate that we didn't. What now? So many options. I'm not really that concerned about uh, my opponent bursting us, so the, the fatigue damage is largely irrelevant. Whereas hitting him for 12 is uh, extremely relevant. Could have also used the sap on the, um, the armor smith, but that would have just meant that I deal with it next turn. But yeah, the, the extra sap in hand is just going to get him anyway. I don't think there was a way that I could lose from that spot with the, the Myra's already been played. <laughs> 